Something. The Quran says about the story of Moses, isn't it? Okay, something that we have in the Quran. I'll tell you the Arabic and translate it to the English so you can get a feel of it, just like I got a feel of your one, yeah? So in the Quran it says, I'll, I'll recite it for you. It goes like this. You recite the Quran? Yeah. You? I'll, I'll recite, I'll repeat, I'll translate. It goes, وَلَقَدْ مَنَنَّا عَلَيْكَ مَرْوَةً أُخْرَى إِذْ أَوْحَيْنَا إِلَىٰ أُمِّكَ مَا يُوحَى أَنْ اِقْذِ فِيهِ فِي التَّابُوتِ فَاقْذِ فِيهِ فِي الْيَمِّ فَلْيُلْقِهِ الْيَمُّ بِالسَّاحِلِ يَأْخُذْهُ عَدُوٌ لِي وَعَدُوٌ لَهُ وألقيت عليك محبة مني ولتصنع على عيني إذ تمشي أختك فتقول هل أدلكم على من يكفله فرجعناك إلى أمك كي تخر عينها ولا تحزن وقتلت نفسا فنجيناك من الغم فتناك فتونا فلبثت سنين في أهل مدين ثم جئت على قدري يا موسى موسى يا أصلي وزي واصطنعتك بنفسي اذهب أنت وأخوك بآياتي ولا تنيا في ذكري اذهبا إلى فرعون إنه طغى فقولا له قولا لينا لعله يتذكر أو يخشى قالا ربنا إنا نخاف أن يفرط علينا أو أن يطغى قال لا تخافا إنني معكما أسمع وأرى فتياه فقولا إنا رسولا ربك فأرسل معنا بني إسرائيل بني إسرائيل يا ولا تعذبهم قد جئناك بآية من ربك والسلام على من اتبع الهدى أوكي خمس فيديا so this is a story so whenever I see you <laughs> praying in the park, it's a lot quicker than that. I don't know which version you're doing, I'm not judging. It's a heck of a lot quicker than that. Basically, the story of the, um, the Quranic discourse about Moses, we agree with the Jew, yeah? We say that Moses came to Pharaoh, him and his brother. First and foremost, the, the, the surah begins with, or not the surah, this is in the middle of the surah, the chapter, chapter 20 of the Quran. It starts by talking about uh, Moses' mum. Tell me where this correlates with the Torah. Yeah? Moses' mum was told to throw Moses into the river. I don't know if she was told. She put him in the river. Yeah. Could be she was told. I don't think so. All right, so in the Quran, she was told by God directly. He revealed to her that to put her, him in the river. river yeah? So Pharaoh picked him up. Don't we believe the thought of Pharaoh? Pardon? We believe the we believe the daughter of Pharaoh picked him up, not Pharaoh himself. In the Quran, they call him Adun Li Adun Le. So it was actually Pharaoh who. Yes, I'm more familiar. Yeah, it's it's a detail, isn't it? Yeah? yeah. So he picked him up, and then basically Moses had a whole life in Egypt. Yeah, there's details about it. Then after that, what happened was Moses killed someone because there was an Egyptian guy. And the Jewish guy. Like I'm Egyptian. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then he they missed you and hit and someone then, else. He hit him. No, I'm not going to do that. He got one punch and he died. <laughs> now, the point is, God then told him that, uh, you know, I, I freed you from all of this. I've, you are in, in a state of uh, gum, which is like sadness, but we trialed you at trial. So you went to a place called Median. Is this in the. Oh, yeah? 
all sides. Like the whole trialing bit I don't know about. Yeah. We, we believe he left on Egypt because he killed someone. No, he didn't have extradition treaty. And yet. he stayed there for some time. Yes. Median. He got married there. He got married there, etc. Then he was told to come back to, uh, to, to spread the message and to free the people of Israel. Right. And then he says, him and uh, Aaron, Harun, go and tell him, i.e. Pharaoh, that we are prophets from God, so bring with us the children of Israel. And don't punish them. We have certainly showed you a sign from God. Then Pharaoh and him had discussion. So then there's the, the whole discussion, um, you know, about. It wasn't him. so much of a discussion, but as far as I gave him the finger, and that was about it. <laughs> no, for I us. mean, seriously. <laughs> I don't, they didn't use the word give the finger, was pretty right. much that was the conversation. No, for us, the Quran says this. <laughs> what? I'm going to give you a bit more. I'm not going to. I'm yeah. just saying, I always thought your prayers were short. Yeah, all right, so I don't know. It says, it says this, it says this. <laughs> قال ربنا الذي أعطى كل شيء خلقه ثم هدى قال فما بال القرون الأولى قال علمها عند ربك في كتاب لا يضل ربي ولا ينسى الذي جعل لكم الأرض مهدا وسلك لكم فيها سبلا وأنزل من السماء ماء. I'm a giant quoting scripture in Arabic, okay? <laughs> the first time I'm hearing scripture quoted to me. Alright, I have last a giant. That's the okay. title on the YouTube video, bro. as well. وأنزل right. من السماء ماء فأخرجنا به نبات شتى. كلوا وارعوا أنعامكم إن في ذلك لآيات لأولي النهى منها خلقناكم وفيها نعيدكم ومنها نخرجكم تارة أخرى. Okay, so him and, him and Pharaoh were talking, yeah? Pharaoh said to Moses, this is our story, yeah? Who is your Lord? Who are your Lord? You and Aaron, yeah? He says, this is a beautiful verse, by the way, which we don't use enough in the Dawah as well, yeah? He says, the first time Pharaoh was introduced to God by Moses in the Quran, this is what he said, who is your Lord? He says, Our Lord is the one who gave everything its form, and then he guided it. So he created everything, and then he guided it. And then Pharaoh asked him, so he was inquisitive, it wasn't just like, you know, he had some questions. He says, فَمَاذَا لُقْرُونِ الْأُولَى So what about the old peoples? He says, قَالَ عِلْمُهَا عَنْدَ رَبِّ فِي الْكِتَابِ That certainly the knowledge of that is in my, with my Lord in a book. لَا يَضِلُّ رَبِّ وَلَا يَنْسَى That my Lord does not forget, does not misguide, does not um, forget. Yeah? He says forget twice. He doesn't forget, God doesn't forget. Yeah. And then he starts wow. telling us how he created the earth and all this. Now the point is, Moses, was then present, he then presented signs to Pharaoh. And do you know what I find really amazing here? Yeah? I'll tell you what I find amazing. Nope, I'm gonna skip. Me. I'm skipping now. I'm skipping. I'm skipping. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna skip. I don't know if this once again. You tell me if this corresponds with the Torah. I'm skipping like verses, 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 verses. Okay. Yeah. So boom, we're here. Yeah. On the page. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Boom. All right. Yeah. All the verses. That's it. So what happened was Moses. It's according to us. I'm telling you just like. Moses said to Pharaoh, he said to him, look, I'm going to show you some signs. So he said, look, you are a magician. He said, look, give me a time and a place and I'll show you that we're going to bring a magic just like your magic. We're going to bring you a, a, a sihra, magic just like you. So what happened after that was that Moses, he said, come to this place, your muzina, where you are on this, they will come on like uh, like this time basically, which is like Doha time, Zenith. When is there? Uh, is sorry, that, when is that the beginning of the day? Yeah, like beginning of the day. Yeah, beginning of the day. Did Pharaoh, I don't know if the, did Pharaoh make himself a god. Yeah, yeah, he does. Yeah, yeah. makes himself a god. In the Quran. Yeah. So what happened was that it came down. Yeah, I, I'm gonna get to the point. Trust me. I'm just, I like that. 
And then the Sahara came, the, the magician came, yeah? They said, قَالُوا إِمَّا أَن تُلْقِيَ وَإِمَّا أَن Not to be rude, <laughs> excuse me. Right. I've been hearing scripts okay. for the last 20 minutes from you. <laughs> if you get to the uh, point. All right, fine. So they said, all right, look, either you throw the thing or I'm going to throw the thing. So he just said, no, you throw it uh, first. No, he said, you throw it first. So he said to who? Moses said to them, you throw. Bel Alku, you throw, yeah? So it was, it was shown that, they, you know, the, the magic was there. Moses then had like a bit of fear in his heart because he thought maybe people would be deceived by this magic. So God told him, don't be afraid. Today you will be the one who's the victorious one. Okay? Is this bringing Most, those? more or less, is accurate. Yes, yes. Yeah. Most of man. Right, right. Does. So what happened was he threw what was in his right hand and Moses was victorious on that day, yeah? Why? And then the Sahara, the magicians, yes, they said this, and this is where I'm going to start the conversation with you. Ah. <laughs> yes. The introduction is nearly. The, the introduction is done, yeah? All right? Ah. The, the Sahara, the magicians, are you with me on the story so far? Do we agree with it? Uh, more or less. More yeah. details, not relevant. All right. The Sahara, the magicians, they recognize through the evidences this revelation. What did they say? It says, after what we've seen, we'll never لن نؤثرك على ما جاءنا من البينات والذي فطرنا We'll never prefer you, O Pharaoh. That's what the, 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 the magician said, Pharaoh. We'll never prefer you over what's come to us from the evidences. And we'll never reject the one who, in, who uh, originated us. So we don't have that last bit. Okay. All right. But the magicians, did they believe? What? The magicians. They managed to achieve their magic and that's the yeah, way your us, story they makes became sense. Muslim. Yeah, uh, well, they became submitters of God. They followed the Muslim or Jews? Okay, let me explain. What's Jew? Jew means the follower of Alright, here's my question. Yeah, yeah. Mount Sinai, were they there? Were they there according to you? Yeah, it could be. So they were Jews. What does Jew In mean? all intents and purposes, they were just Muslims running around. What, what is, yeah, no, Muslim, what is Muslim? What? I don't know, you probably believe Most, in Muslim, God. Muslim is someone who submits their will to God. Yeah. Okay, but we're talking about the time that we... They said in the Quran, it says, just, oh. to, just to, to squash this argument, yeah. do you know what they actually said in the Quran? No, we man. believe, I'll tell you, they, we believe in the Rabb uh, Rab Harun wa Musa. We believe in the Lord of Aaron and Moses. Yes? Right. So, no problem. But my point is they were following Moses at the yeah, time. Yeah, not they, Judah. It's a but they were following... Jude, Judah is... is uh, the Jewish is, king much later. No, no, no. Judah, yeah. yeah, we're talking about the sons of uh, Isaac, sons of Jacob. Judah's one of the sons, yeah? Correct. All right, so that's where Judaism comes from. So it couldn't have been a Jew in that sense, could he? Because he wasn't even alive yet. Anyways, let's go back. They followed Moses. And For they, all intents and purposes, they, they were followed, Jews. They followed Moses. They, and we agree with that. And we say we followed Moses. Yeah? They couldn't, they wouldn't, if you asked, the, if you asked them, you wouldn't say they, would say they were Jews. Because Judah didn't exist. There was no Judaism at the time. Exactly. Well, that, well, thank you very much for we'll coming to that conclusion. What's your yeah, point? Yeah, Muhammad wasn't there either, yeah? Yes. Yeah, so uh, okay. Here's well, my question. Said, the yeah, first followers yeah. of Muhammad, his companion, were Muslims? Yeah. Were, so, so Muslims were from day one when Muhammad got there and received his, what, his, uh, his, um, thing. And they became... We'll come to Muhammad. We'll come to him. No, but I'm yeah. just asking. Just yeah, so, asking. so we've got two, we've got two yeah. kinds of Islam. Is, is a Muslim one, a later is, thing or is it a, no, from the explain. beginning? There's Islam as a linguistic construct. It means to submit their will to God. Yeah? Okay. And I'm sure you believe in that. Yeah? You believe in submitting your will to one God. Yeah. All right. So from that perspective, you're doing Islam. Whether you think you... you I, yeah, right. I, got, I hear your point. Right, right. So not from the perspective of believing Muhammad and so on. We don't, of course, believe in that because he wasn't alive yet. So it wouldn't make sense. All right. Going back now, what the magician said was they said, we will never prefer you after what evidences came down. What separated it for the magicians was the evidence. Not just Moses saying that he's a prophet of God. Yeah, but what evidence is that? It was the evidence of the, they realized because we, they were specialists of the field, because yeah. they were magicians, yeah? Were they able to achieve it as well? Yeah, they were able to do magic, yeah? Were they able to do the same as Moses? No. Yeah, so we believe that three tricks were done, I believe. Yeah. yeah. The only one I remember, I apologize. No, it's fine. What? No, it's fine. It's actually this week in the, later in the reading of the scrolls. It's this week, surprisingly enough. Is it, is it, you're going to read it in the scrolls, yeah? Well, yeah, at the end of the week. So you do the same thing as me. What do you mean? You're going to read it like a melodious way. 
Yeah. So we. <laughs> uh, no, it's somebody in the synagogue, a rabbi. Yeah, yeah. Where I Every week, someone else does it. Yeah. The same guy. Oh, okay, okay. It used to be many years ago. Are you a part, of, an active member of the synagogue? Yeah, I'm not such a. Is it? Are you are you learning in the? I'm studying to become a rabbi. Oh, is you can it? get oh, more okay. orthodox. So I'm, I'm, I'm not sure right if you can become more orthodox than that. Yes. Yeah. How many years you got left? A year or two. I'm not speaking to a rabbi. What? Are you, would you consider yourself, if you're a rabbi, are you a scholar? Not yet. I'm scholar in what I've learned. I'm not scholar in what no, I no, haven't. No. Is a rabbi a scholar? No. A rabbi, I think, is the, 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 um, he answers them legal questions. Okay. So he's not fatwa. at the level of scholar what? yet? Fatwas, exactly. A rabbi issues, so to speak, fatwas. I don't know if you... Jurist. Are, what? He's a jurist. Yeah. Okay. Scholars have studied everything and that to become a rabbi you just have to study a certain field and then you become a, a rabbi, rabbi in that, in that field. field. Okay. That does make you a scholar if you know in a specific field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just a rabbi. No, I was just wondering, I was, I was asking. It's it separate. Was, it was more a question of interest than it was a... The most famous rabbis are yeah. scholars as well because they've devoted all their time for the last 60 years to study. But mo very few rabbis in the beginning are scholars. It's not... Right, right. Very, to achieve the title of scholar you have to do a lot of study. Yeah, right. okay, go ahead now, tell me. Sorry, what were we saying? <laughs> Last week. You said you were going about this week. So, okay, so they turned, yeah. I know that he turned a stick into snake. That's the only one I remember. Yeah, that's the one so the they were able to copy it. So my question is, what evidence? So they both did magic? They were able to see Moses was superior? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So they were able to see that Moses was superior, that his, uh, that his thing wasn't magic, whereas theirs was. Because in the Quran it says, فَإِذَا حِبَالُهُمْ وَعَيْسِيُّهُمْ يُخَيُّلُ إِلَيْهِمْ so Moses was able I have to no see. idea what that means. I'll tell you. Moses right, was able to, uh, to see the the strings and the ropes that they were using. It was an illusional kind of trick that they were putting forward. All yeah. right, we don't believe that. We believe that this literally, well, as, as, as the Christians say, the blood turned into wine. Yeah. It's a bad no, example. No, but the Quran but, also affirms. But we believe that the stick, so to speak, this was a stick. Yeah. A snake. Yeah, no, 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 no. Did Moses do that or the magician? Both, both, both. both. Oh, you believe the that? One, what, what, one was done through the power of, of God, of so to speak, dark magic, whatever that means, because yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah. What, and one was through, through the power of God. No, so exactly, exactly. one was pure one in was, France, One was superior one, than the other one. One was pure and one was... We, we affirm that as well, because it says Sih. So the Quran affirms that it was magic, even with those magicians, yeah? So uh, I agree with everything you've just said there. All right. Now, having said that, have said that. The, the, the point, the thamara, if you like, yeah, or the, the point of uh, the fruit that we're getting from this is yes, that it. what, yeah, is what caused the magicians to believe? That they were able to recognize the superior, it's not magic in Moses' case, but the superior miracle that Moses put forward compared to what they had. And they were specialists of that particular field, yeah? So what's your question? Uh, do you agree with this point? Again, to repeat that. Right. So they were specialists of magic. Yeah? Oh yeah. And they were able to see that Moses, that was, Moses superior. One was superior. Correct. So what we get from that is that in order to know about a miraculous sign, you have to, the more you are a specialist in that field, the more you know. The more you know. All right. Is it fair to say if a prophet comes? Yeah. Uh, a prophet comes and what? And prophet comes it and there. presents. Yeah a series of evidences which claim to be miraculous and specialists of that field whatever the field of so-called um, attempted miracle is yeah. also affirm its miraculous nature so does that make him a prophet no no does that make does that add make him a credible credence? prophet yeah to the I, fact and yes yes and no and here's i'll tell you why okay, well this is going to sound very racist, but who gives a shit? That's life. Religion is racist. If you show up in my synagogue and tell my rabbi what he says in the Torah, he's going to throw you a head first and then go fuck yourself. Because you have no standing in my head. Zero. Very tall, you're three times his height. But you have no standing in the topic, in the matter. Now, for us to accept it, especially, it has to be someone of ours. Or you would say the Ummah. It has to be one of our crowd. So, 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 so if it's not from our crowd, we won't accept that. Hey, so it has to be one of our specialists today. So the same way if I'd say, this is amazing, you're not going to trust me. If Ali says it, it's different because he he's part of the Ummah. So that's number one. And number two, we have a, we have a 
shitload of terms and conditions. Like you know, when you get an iPhone, they click. And you know. We have loads what has to apply for, for a profit. So for the first five minutes, you could pull off a profit even if you're not. You're not one if you manage to do some optical illusion. But after that, we have a whole list of requirements Can we need you to do. We're no, I'm, I'm actually asking you, so, as a person of superior knowledge to me in this field, yeah? yeah. And I want you to give me the, because I'm, I'm curious now. Yeah. Can I ask you to tell me what evidence is there in the Old Testament corpus that a prophet has to be from Bani Israel? Has to be Jewish? Yeah. No, no, why, 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 yeah, no. why does it have to be Jewish? Yeah. Because it says no, 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 not Jewish. Yeah. I'm saying from, you said from our crowd, so I'm thinking the children of Israel, yeah? Jewish, we're not like Jewish. Yeah, yeah ethnically Bani's Jewish. Ethnically Jewish, yeah? Because it says he has to, de he has to descend from King David. No problem. Uh, where does it say that he has to be from Beni Israel? The lineage, the ethnic lineage has to be from Beni Israel. Because he has to be a son of a uh, descendant of David. Show me the verse that you're talking about. So we can I don't know the verse by heart. I apologize. Can I see it, please? I don't know if you want oh, to okay. find it. Yes. Yes. Try to what's up someone afterwards. It, it's, uh, I don't know these things by heart. Like I'm, I'm a scholar in these things. I'm... Okay, no problem. What I was going to say is that I'll be honest with you. Yeah. Right? It says that he has to be a descendant of David. And even hypothetically, give me a second. Hypothetically speaking, let's say it doesn't say it. Hypothetically speaking, you're gonna then you're gonna use that to bring why couldn't your prophet be our prophet, right? You're, you're getting at why couldn't your prophet be the Messiah, correct? Right? I'm not getting. Uh, we don't believe the Messiah. You, no. Do, what are you getting at? You wanna know? Let's say hypothetically, he well, doesn't have to okay. be Jewish. Well, my, well, my question is this. My question is this. Let's, what, let's say hypothetically, he doesn't let, have to let, be Jewish. Let's say. Criteria for prophethood, you said there's a lot of terms and conditions. That he has to do after, to actually become the prophet. I'm saying that from yeah. what we've discussed, and also from, if you look at Deuteronomy 18, verse 19, 20, yeah? You'll find that the criteria of prophethood is that he has to prophesize. No, there's in the Musan called the Talm, uh, there's a term called Nach, you ever heard of Nach? There's yeah. three sections of the, the, the uh, what we call Nach. There's, we call it the, the Old Testament world. You know, the, Five books of Moses, right. and then there's prophecies. There's a whole list of them. And then there gives no, no, no. I'm talking about. What you I'm talking about Moses now. Yeah. So he's the one. He's the speaker in this. Yeah. Because he's the one, right? But the later prophets said what you need. It's not only Moses, Moses that made the speaking. requirement. But yeah. it's not only Moses that set the requirement. The later prophets set them as well. Understand? Okay, no problem. I, I I'll go with that. I haven't got issues. With this. But I'm saying that let's start with Moses' requirements go. first. Yeah. Because what, I, what I'm saying is that from my reading, please correct me if I'm wrong, once again, you're a specialist. I'm saying to you, one of the criteria that I looked at in the end of Deuteronomy, yeah. of that particular uh, chapter, was saying that they have to be able to prophesize. If they, are, if they make prophecies which are accurate, that's a criteria. I don't know, I'm not, I'm not there. I could be out. No, no, I'm, it, I, I'm, I'm not there. I don't know. I have no problem. It's, it's there, right? I'll take if, your word. Let's, let's hypothetically speak over. All right, no, it's not hypothetical. It's in the Bible. I, I know, right? but I'm not, not going to put my. Um, uh, I'm not going to say that. It's there, but I don't know. If we get the Bible, we can check you the verse. I mean, it's not, it's not a big problem, right? No, man. I don't want it to be like hypothetical. I want you to. Because we want to look at the criteria. It's fair. Like, look at the criteria that Moses set, other prophets, and so on. Yeah, let's see if they. They fulfill the criteria. So, where do you say it was? Let's check Deuteronomy verse 19, chapter 19. Well, actually, go to chapter 18 and the last verses. All right. So, chapter 18, verse uh, 19, 20. Just, just for the sake of argument. You wanted 18, what verse? Like verse. Let's go to the end. Like literally the last verse. Oh, okay. oh, now, see where it talks about. I'm gonna look. Um, I will rise up. I'm gonna look where it's the first time. All right, let's start here. If it doesn't make sense, we'll go back. The Lord your God will raise upon your prophet amongst your own people. That's what you want to know. Okay, let's read it in. Uh, let's, sorry, sorry. Uh, you're, you can read this. Uh, let's read this in the Hebrew, yeah? Because I can see here it says Lachem. Is that correct? Lachem, yeah? Lachem, Lachem. Lachem, Lachem. Which means for you. Yeah. Very big, you have to be accurate in the front. Hold on, hold on. Yes, literally his shoulders, that's all I got. You got drums. <laughs> Can you read all of us in Hebrew, please? Job. Nevi, 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 Nevi,
Okay, 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 this bit, this bit. Can you say that again? Yakum Lecha. Keep going. Hashem, and says, now Hashem is it's God's name twice. Yeah. And then a Lecha, um, you should make. Alright, so it says, we should send. No, it's yeah. God. God. God yeah. will send a prophet yeah, yeah. in your robe. Now, hold on, hold on. What does Lecha, Lecha mean? What does it mean? From you. Uh, what is it? What, what kind of pronoun is it? Is that a pronoun? No, I, my, I don't know what pronoun even means. Is that a pronoun? I have no idea what those the grammatical words are. Okay, okay, okay. So, no, no, the pronouns are I, he, she, they, you. No, it's not, it's not. It's not. So, so it's, it's to you. Okay, very good, yeah? So, keep reading. Well, Hashem, and then says God's name, and left on um, Tishma'u. Tishma'u should make it, should eat. Perfect. So, you accept that it says to you. Yeah? Make Go to verse 18, please. Alright. Now read it in Hebrew. Navi um Navi Ekim Lehem Mikarem Achem. Okay, so now it's now it's now 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 because I wanted to make sure that I was right. Lacha means to you. Lacha means to you. Yeah. Lacha means to you. Whereas Lachem means to them. Is it correct? What? So say that again. Let's see. You're a Hebrew speaker. Correct. You're teaching it. Yeah. Lachem is to you. Am I right? Lachem means to you. Yeah. Lachem, which you read here in verse 18, means to them. Lachem, not lachem. No problem. Lachem. lachem. No problem. Is What does it mean? It makes a difference because lachem means bread in Hebrew. That's why. Ah, okay. I just wasn't and sure. Lachem, lachem means uh, meat in Arabic. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yeah. All right. That's, that's why point, I was trying, point. Right. wasn't trying to be an asshole. I, I apologize, okay? If it's lachem, yeah. then we're going to have a good meal together, right? Yeah. <laughs> In Arabic it means meat. Alright, it's to them, yes? Lachem. Lachem. Lachem is to them. To them. Who, is, who are they? So in the beginning Moses was so in the beginning God was speaking God was speaking to the crowd and one God, 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 God was speaking to Moses. So still, when he's speaking to Moses, the second verse is saying for them. When in the beginning he's speaking to the crowd, you're gonna make one of your own. Uh, I've answered your question also. You're absolutely right. So you're saying in the beginning you were saying Lacha. Lacha, yeah. For and then you. he said Lahim. Correct. What's your point? So in the beginning, he was saying to you. He was saying to the crowd. Yes, 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 yes. And then he said after that he the was, prophet will be from. He was talking to Moses to the crowd. Yeah, yeah. He Moses. Was, he was telling Moses at the. Yeah, yeah. So Moses. The I am telling here. you. Right, right. They'll right. be from them. Yeah, yeah. So in the beginning, he said lacha. So he was speaking to Moses. He was speaking to the crowd. Correct. He said you, you, you. It's going to be from you, this and that. Yeah. Chosen you for you for you. And then he said, but the prophet will be from them. When he's speaking to Moses. He's, yeah, he's speaking to the crowd still, yeah? Uh, it's Moses speaking in verse 18, yeah? It's Moses speaking in verse 18. So God's telling Moses. Yes. And why no, is it? No, 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 let me say something. It's Moses The reason speaking. why it says for them and not for you. Yes, go ahead. And not, why, I don't, why do you think God say it's going to be one of your crowd? Because we believe that the descendants of Moses aren't in the, uh, on your, you know, it's going to sound really crazy, but it's so-called parallel dimension universe. We believe then there's what's where it's very it's it's very um, um Kabbalistic. I don't know what the English word for it is. I don't know if you have it in, in Islam. Oh, very oh, very oh, a spiritual it's more spiritual. Uh, what's your name again sir? David. Da David. So you're following me, yeah? I'm following I'm following you. Yeah, I, I think so. we're on the same page. Yeah, verse fifteen, verse fourteen, yeah. verse thirteen. Lacha. The yes. pronoun used is to you. We agreed with this. Correct. Oh, no no problem. Verse 18, read out in English so everyone can know what I'm talking about. I will raise up a prophet for them from amongst their own people like yourself. So it's not talking about the Ben Israel anymore, is it? No, yes it is. Your own people. No, hold on. My their own people. You 
you said that it's got to be from Ben Israel. Correct. I'm God was it, telling Moses. Why was he telling their people? No, no, no. Yours? It's not God speaking. It's God speaking through Moses. Through Moses. The whole of Deuteronomy is like that. No one has said anything opposite. Right? This is no. But the, but the original God was speaking through Moses to tell the crowd. This is God telling Moses himself. This wasn't going to the crowd. This wasn't a mass broadcast. Okay. Wait, this was the personal verse, verse message. Verse, this was verse, the PM. Verse well, from the Lord said to me, they have done well in speaking that. Verse 16. This is just what you asked for of your Lord. Okay. Your... Perfect. I don't know what you think you struck gold here, but that's it. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to think you've struck gold, but no, let's hear it. You know you've had this argument with me already once. You do know that. You've had this argument with me already once. You know that. I spoke to you once. Yeah, like a year ago. I can't remember what it was. <laughs> I'm just saying. No, no, no. Bro. You might want to yeah. take notes. So quickly look at the video. See what you want. I around. can't remember what the video is. I don't even have it on my channel. Maybe we'll make a... We'll put it now on our channel. After this is shot. Just Rabbi, saying. Rabbi, Rabbi listen. Here's your like to know. Rabbi, look. I was going to say. Right. Straightforward, yeah? Let's go. I'm saying to you that the verse 16, he's speaking to the crowd. Moses is speaking to the crowd yeah. for what God told him. Great. Yeah. Verse 17, still speaking to the crowd. Let's have a look at that, please, yeah? And then this is the end of the sentence where Moses said, where when the Lord said to me, they have done well in speaking thus. This is the end of the whole thing, the, the wording. So but he's still speaking to the crowd. Correct. All right, so all of a sudden. And verse 18, so imagine from now, one please, verse to the next, please. it changes. Yes. This is what you want us to believe, okay? David, I, I, I'm. All right, let's hear your question. So I'm speaking to the crowd. You guys, you know, some guy's gonna come from you guys. You know this and that. And then verse 18, all of a sudden, personal message. One second. <laughs> yes, God. Yeah. I've come back to the crowd. Verse 19. No. That, does that sound fair? Can we can we read verse 19? Pleasure. I have a flat chip up, bro. Come on, let's read the scripture. Come on. If anyone fails to heed the words he speaks in my name, all right. So this is he telling Moses, not the crowd. Otherwise, it wouldn't make okay. sense. No, no, how it would make sense. Read that again, bro. What? Read that again. Keep reading. Keep reading. Okay. If anyone fails to heed the words he speaks in my name, I myself will call him to account. Yeah. Who's this? This is Moses. No, no, no. Moses. Go speaking. Go speaking. To who? To Moses, telling them, telling Moses, if anyone pisses you off, come keep, to me. Keep reading. Keep reading. Okay. But any prophet that presumes to speak in my name. Name an oracle that I did not command utter. This is what I was talking about, right? Do you remember what I was talking about? Can you keep reading that verse, please? Sure. Name an oracle that I did not command him to utter or speak in the names of other gods, the prophet shall die. Perfect. That's all I wanted, David. You're going to tell me why you struck gold? You're just going to strike No, no, David, David. That's all I wanted, right? All right. Okay, this is perfect. Okay, we've got everything here. These verses here show us all that we need to know. You know why? No, but you're going to tell me. Okay. Even if it was God's. Speaking to Moses' personal message. Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah, you're right. No problem. David, you got me. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't, I tried, but. You have a point, get to it. <laughs> All right. Let's, for the sake of argument. Let's I said say. there's two possibilities, and you and you would agree with me, right? There's right. two possibilities. Either he's speaking to the crowd and it says from them. Yeah, but I don't believe no, that. No, no, because no. Because you have the other No, no, no problem. But two there is two possibilities. Yes, Correct. there are two possibilities. Life always, Linguistically, yeah. you can tell me, right? There are two there's possibilities. Two possibilities. Yeah. Correct. Second possibility. Personal message possibility, right? Let's go with that possibility. Let's go with that. Because that's your perspective, right? Correct. Let's say God was sending a personal message to Moses. Is Moses Ben Israel? Is he from Ben Israel? Yes. Okay, perfect. If he's Ben Israel, children of Israel, yeah. the same logic would apply. If he, he, God would have to say, from your people. It's not. This is why, like I said, because we believe. Who's they then? Well, because none of Moses' kids, as I said this before, we believe that Moses' kids didn't join the rest of the, uh, of the, of the community when they went into Israel. Say that again, sir? We believe that Moses' kids didn't join the community. Well, you have to make that up because you have to explain this uh, exegetically. It's, okay. Well, I, I would bring you others. From, from the kids? Then. His kids. We believe they were in a so-called parallel, which is a crappy Parallel universe. It's a crabby. We believe that he's in a place that can't be found. It's called some Bacha. Which is what? It's what we believe it's a mystical place. Mystical place. Yeah, where rocks fly out the river. 
No if problem. Minister, we believe in places if, like that. Hello, no minister, problem. if a Christian told me I'd laugh him up. I'm not even denying if you weren't brought up with it, you'd think you're crazy. That's, that's Plato's, it's a, Plato, it's a, it's a Pla Platonic theory, by the way. But keep going. And that's something that came about. Okay, that's a different discussion. How Platonic theories, it's called the land of forms. And how it was how it was incorporated into my, 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 Christian, Islamic and, and, and Jewish faith. That's a whole subject matter we can talk about. Time. Right. But what I'm saying to you is this. Even if, this is my point to you, is it not fair enough to say? Yeah. Listen, David, please. I'm listening. You, I'm not trying to pull one over on you. You're, you're more learned than I will ever be in Judaism, right? But I'm trying to say to you, as my teacher in Judaism, uh, uh, fair rabbi, I'm saying to you, look, we're looking at the verses together. Correct. And we're saying that, okay, there's two possibilities, right? We're learning together, really. And each one for one, you'd like to right. So we said there's two possibilities. Either he's speaking to the crowd and he says from them, yeah. or God is speaking to them, uh, to him, and he's saying from them. Yeah. But I'm saying in, in either case, because Lahem is there, it's not from you. It's not Lacha, right? right? So if it's not Lacha, if it's not Lacha, then it's not Bani Israel. That's my deduction. That's my argument. Right, so now, hold on. So, uh, sorry, sorry. Right. One, one more thing. Go for it. Go for it. Let me know when you yeah. finish. One more thing, right? The other point I wanted to make was that the oracle point, which is tying it all together now, because there's a reason why I was recently reciting the verse around the beginning. I'm telling you about the magicians. The oracle point was that the prophecy, the prophecies, is a biblical criteria for true prophets. Agreed? Sorry, repeat that. I didn't understand what you said. Verse 20 said that if he's a true prophet, yeah. he'll speak in prophecies. His prophecies will come true, in other words, right? All right. And oracles, as the verse said, right? And if not, he'll drop dead, he'll die or something, right? You no, can read the then we should Can you read it? it? Can you read the verse? So I don't want to miss quote. I want to miss He shall be killed, right? right? I don't want to miss the verse, right? Yeah, I can show it to you. Yeah, no, 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 you can if you want to. So let's read the verse together. And Allah killed Muhammad? I'm speaking to him, please. That's fine, sir. Can, can we, You've I'll, got two years. You want me to speak to you? I All right, I have a quick question. Let me just, no, no, no. Let's no, 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 shut her up for 40 minutes. Please, we'll come to you. Give me 20 seconds to shut her up. The prophet shall die. If he shall speak in the name of other gods, the prophet shall die. So, okay, perfect, perfect. So we've got a couple of things, right? Sorry. We've got the oracle, and he has to speak in. He has to speak in. He has to speak in. Yeah, yeah. He has to speak. What a mess it for a while. He has to speak in the name of God. Correct. Look at the conditions that we've got here. So he has to believe in one God, the true monotheism, not uh, trinitarianism or something like that. Well, wait, let me just read out the whole thing. I think. Please read out. My, that presume it's speaking my name, an oracle that I did not command, meaning a new commandment. Just no problem. Hold that in mind, wherever yes, you're going. Yes, yes. No problem. So the commandments have to be the same? Yeah. Don't change a single one. If, if it's not this verse, there are other verses that explicitly talk about prophecies as being a criteria. Number three, he has to believe in one God. Correct. All right. Now. Um, just going back, let's say for yeah. argument's sake, let's yeah. go for argument's sake. The last verse says, he can be from outside the Ummah. Yes. What would you do about the outside first verse? Outside the Ben Israel. What would you do about the first verse that says you can't be from outside the community? It doesn't say that in the first verse. It does say it. What does it say? No. I what? I arise a prophet, you know, that was uh, 16. What? You say, Lacha, uh, I'll be from you. Can you read the verse with the full of In English or in, in Hebrew? Both, if you want. All right, we'll do in English. I'm lazy. The Lord your God will raise a prophet from amongst your own people like myself, and you shall be. Uh, say, say, say again. Say it again. Him you shall, you shall be. No problem. We believe in both. What? Yeah, yeah but no, no, my no, no, no. what I'm saying reason, is, no, no, let me turn back. After Moses, the reason believe... why it has to be, why the second verse has to be what I'm saying, and not what you're saying, is yeah, because right. the verse verse already says, so it wouldn't make sense two verses later to say, hey, God, I had to change your mind, bros. Now everyone. No, no, there is a possible. There's, there's three possibilities here, right? All right, tell them. No, no, there's three logical possibilities. All right. Possibility one, that he was talking about a prophet that was sent to Ben Israel from them. Number two, possibility two, that. He was talking about two prophets yeah. because one of them is from Ben Israel, or more than two. Okay. And possibility number three, that he was talking about the same one all along. Yeah, These are three logical yeah, ones. But let's go from, let's, um, so let's, let's take the last one first because it's the least, okay. the, it's the least one that I at least understand. The rest I can understand. No, no, sense. You, that can make sense because the last one, the last one can't from, make sense. How can from they? Our, from our understanding, right? Go for it. Uh, from our understanding, there were more than one. Obviously, after Moses, we both believe there were many prophets that were sent, right? Correct. So it wasn't just one prophet. Correct. Okay, so we both agree 
we, we both agree that there were more than one prophet that was sent after Moses. No, we charge. You have to pay money. We both agree that there was more than one prophet that was sent after Moses. Yeah, quite a few. Perfect. No problem. Then we we agree because then yeah. in that case there could be one from, there, there could be some from this tribe and that from this tribe. But the, the, look, what I'm trying to show you here is yeah. that there is an exegetical possibility yeah. based on Lahem that there can be a prophet outside of the scope of Jewish Jew lineage. Jewish. Yeah. All right, no problem. So what, that, is that is that fair? Well, I well I don't well I disagree with where you get from. No, I can no, hear no. where you come from. I can hear. No, no, no. But I, yes, thank you, David. That's all I wanted you to say. I can hear. But I'm no, saying it's a possibility. Now I'm I'm open. All right. I'm Will open you? to that possibility. P perfect. All right. If you're open to that possibility, yeah. we're saying together now. We have to look at the. Um, we have to look at all the other criterion. Because right now we have something quite general. We want to specify, right? Uh, I, I think I know what you're getting. So I want to save us both time. Right. You're trying to get an end agenda that Muhammad was a prophet. Correct, doing correct. Yes, I'm fine. All right, so let's, <laughs> let's, <laughs> I don't think I mean. let's save a crap lot of time. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So between the destruction of the temple and Muhammad was how long? I don't know when. He, what year was he born? Uh, or what year would he be prophesied? He died six, uh, like let's say 636, 635 AD or 11 AD. Okay. The, te yeah. no, the temple was destroyed in seven. So it's 550 years for argument's sake. No, no, it's more than that. When was it? Right. You said what? When was the temple destroyed? Seven. Seven AD? Yeah. Seventeen. Oh, you're talking seventeen AD? Seven, no. Seven, oh, oh, right, right, right. You're talking about when, uh, you're talking about when they were expelled, right? The expulsion. No, the temple was destroyed. The, the destruction of the temple? Yeah. So it's corresponded with that time anyway, isn't it? What? So it's 70, 70 years later. AD, was, isn't that a time when, uh, who was in charge of the Roman Empire? Uh, Nero. Was it Nero? I have no idea. I can't remember, okay? My point is, just, it doesn't make, make a difference who's wrong here, Alright, so. So you're trying to get that maybe he was a prophet. All right, so here's the two problems we have with him. Number one, he said that he, he changed laws of the Torah and the simple proof is you don't keep Shabbos. It's not bad. You don't no, keep no, no, Shabbos. No, no. Here it says the commands. Yeah, what? The commands though. The command, one the of the Shabbos is one of the commands. Which one? The Sabbath. Yeah, it's one of the commands. Yeah, that's, one, that's one the, of the only ten commandments. Yes. Okay, we affirm the Sabbath. How? Because the Quran affirms the Sabbath. It, how? But it says you shouldn't light the fire, it says you shouldn't no, get... No, that's a side point. Let me explain. That's, that's not as big that's, as my well, next Let me explain, problem. David. David. وَلَقَدْ عَلِمْتُ مَلَّذِينَ اَعْتَدَوْ مِنْكُمْ فِي السَّبَتِ We know who transgressed amongst you in the Sabbath. The Quran says. But it says you shouldn't light the fire. What do you do about that? No. We affirm it. We just we don't keep it, it. We said it was a historical reality. It was a commandment from God. And God tested the people with the Sabbath. All right. All of that we believe in. You still have to explain why you shouldn't do right? it now. No, no, no. Because we, as we said before, that was uh, the, of the of the all of the Ten Commandments. Yeah. All of the commandments, except for the Sabbath. Yeah. Except for the Sabbath, we uphold forever. Yeah, only, but why, why not the, the Sabbath? Sabbath? Why not? You have to. You have to bring a proof from my scrolls, my scripture. That's a side point. We'll let you think about that. All right, in a second. Okay, right before the the last prophet said there will not be any more prophets till the, the, the bringing of the Messiah. There will not be any more prophets till the Messiah comes. There will not be any prophets till the Messiah comes. Sorry, man. There won't be any prophets till the Messiah comes. So even hypothetically speaking, there can be a prophet from outside our community. No problem. That's it. Uh -huh. You go with that. What? It's a possibility. We'll go with that. It's an exegetical possibility. Well, I, I, we're going to go with that just because my friend, my next point is going to yeah. prove it. So I can go with it. Just we'll run with For the sake it. of argument. No, sake I of want argument. it to be more than a sake of argument because because no. we're, we're rabbi, rabbi. Yeah. We're, we're we're being honest with each other, right? Yep. We said that look. There were three possibilities. Either verse 15, 16 is talking about one prophet, or verse 16, 17, see, all of it from 15 to 20 is talking about the same prophet, or it could be talking about two different. It's possible, right? Correct, but I, I, I guess it's a possibility. It's not something I believe. It's a possibility. So what I'm saying is that. Hypothetically, do I believe that's the Torah, no. with the wording of it, in the Hebrew can language. Can be translated like that. Can be understood in those three Correct. possible ways. Correct, it can. So, okay, is so it? it's, not, it's, not, it's not the case that we can say. Uh, unequivocally, unambiguously, and in a clear-cut manner, that actually the prophet must there be from could, the genealogy there could and from be, the lineage of There could be Jewish scholars that say so. I not that I know about. Like I said, I'm not a scholar. I'm not. I'm not Israel fan. Rabbi, you're not. You're, you're not either. What? You're, you're not at the rabbi level, isn't it? I'm not at this. Right. Anyways, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. There's a, the last prophet says that the next prophet, the Messiah, will come. Muhammad was alive for how long, roughly? Give or take. 63 years. How long did he prophesy for? 23 years. Alright, so 
within the 23 years the Messiah would have come, should have come. That hence the who says that? We the last prophet saying later on in the prophets. I don't know where I'm truly sorry, like I said. Now, but what, what are you referring to? Just so I know it's like it says that will not be one of the last in the Nehemia says he's one of the last uh, one of the last prophets, one of the great one of the greatest prophets as well. He said there will not be any prophecies, God will not send any more prophets till the rebuilding of the third temple. Say again? Until the rebuilding of the third temple. Okay, the Quran talks about that. But you, you, you miss my. It doesn't help if the Quran talks about that. I need my Torah to speak about that. You want to prove my. You want to prove. Not about that. Let me explain to you something, right? Over it. The rebuilding of the third temple is not a great argument. Nor would you. Because you don't know how many times it was destroyed, as a matter of fact. You don't know how many times it was destroyed. It's okay. We believe also. We are. We how many times was it destroyed? Twice. Okay. Well, what's your. Uh, so, uh, where does it. Where does it say it has to be destroyed three times? It doesn't. Okay, so it's destroyed twice. Yeah. When was the last time it was destroyed? Do that in 78. So what was the problem? That like said, there won't be any new prophets until the Messiah comes. Yeah, except we, we agree with that. We believe the Messiah came, which is Jesus Christ, and then after that, Prophet Muhammad. And this is why the Messiah couldn't have come. Huh? Because we what? also, in the guidelines, in the prophets won't come guideline by Nehemiah, Yes. Like, what? Oh, you're saying because he died, because he, he, uh, no, the Messiah no, no. was before the destruction? No, no, that's Jesus lived after the temple, I believe. I'm no, sure. he didn't. Okay, so even he could, uh, while he. Is that, is, that, would be a, that would be an argument, if, if you want to say that. I don't, I don't know. Even let's say, let's say hypothetically, it's, uh, okay. it, for the fact that the temple had to be destroyed, that's A and B, there were one of the things that said that when the Messiah comes, there'll be peace. Is okay. there peace now? Tell me. Oh, no, no, hold on, hold on. What, what exactly are you referring to? It's Nehemiah writes. When he what, writes what his whole... You, what verse are you referring to? It's Nehe like I said, I don't know this by heart. I apologize. But no, right. Ask anyone of learned of, of learned about Nehemiah's rules. Ask them, they'll tell you. It's checking up online. Do you guys, do you guys memorize the Torah? Right? No. That's what I was going to I was going to bring up Lal Yom. He started quoting me 200 hours of Skava. <laughs> we don't... You sing... One of the reasons why you probably sing it is because it's easier to memorize like that. No, no, it's because that's the way it was revealed to me. Okay, but it's also easier to remember, let's be realistic. No, no, because the Quran, just as a side note, I don't yeah. want to hear uh, you know, we have, we have a whole science of trans, uh, transmission of Quran, right? And the, 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 the verses of the Quran, uh, we have a, a scholar, his name is Ibn Jazari, he says, Okay, so he says, uh, Ibn Jazari says, uh, 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 Nazala or something like this, right? Well, he so says hey, that failing, bro, bro, he bro. says that we the bro. reason why we do the tajweed and all that sort of things that we read in this particular way the, is because that's how it was revealed right. to us. The Jews from the Middle Eastern countries, actually, Pardon? my friends from Middle Eastern countries, the, the traditions are they sing everything. Okay, that's what yeah. all from that lived in Muslim countries, Arab Muslim, yeah. they all sing everything. No problem. Anyways, that's a side note. Point. Coming it's back, it's part of the preservation of the, okay, which is so a different discussion we can have. By the way, I don't want to. Ask anyone right. that's got, don't look online, because the problem with online, everything, you right. never know what's true, what's crap. Yeah, yeah. But ask someone, a, rel a reliable someone, ask him about Nehemiah's rules. He gave rules, what will happen when the Messiah comes. And one of them, well, there'll be peace, there'll be no more war, there'll be no sickness. So, hypothetically speaking, Jesus was the Messiah. There's war now. And we have no belief about second coming. We believe there'll only be one Messiah. Comes, right? Okay, that's, that's your interpretation. Correct! Now, I, You're once again, I... When, when we're talking about exegetical possibilities, no, but you know, it's not my interpretation. It's from the Chemia. It's a fact. It's a written book. No, which no, I can't quote no, no, you. No, no, but, but, but what I'm saying is that that's the, the, the discussion of how, to what extent, is a scholar's um, opinion credible? As, as a, it's not that. I mean, no, he was uh, this Nehemiah I'm talking about was was the leader of the Jews. It's called. It was called. It was, called, it was given Talmudic. No, what? So he, he contributed to the Talmud. No, because it was before the Talmud. He was called no, the Talmud was written much later. He was called he was called a Nasi. He was called a Nasi. A Gnostic. A Nasi. 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 I think the lit the literal translation is a prince. Okay. But it wasn't a hereditary title. I think the great the, the best example I can give to it is the Grand Mufti of Jerusalem. Okay, well now we don't we, he's not he's not really that uh, authoritative at all. What? He wasn't authoritative. He wasn't authoritative that hundred years ago? He wasn't authoritative at all. No, I'm not. Alright, totally was. He was he, maybe in that area, in Palestine, right. where, the, where the revolution was happening in the 30s and 40s. Alright, no problem. He he was given he was like the grand mufti of everyone. Okay. He's, he's, he, he was like a, he was an absolute monarch. 
Yeah, yeah, but it doesn't so matter. Because it's not, it's not from the Torah, is it? What do you mean? What do you mean? It's, we're talking about something which is... It's, it's, it's in Tanakh. It's on Nakh. It's in prophecies. We have a whole section. set of books called prophecies. Right, right. We'll have to look there. directly at that. I don't know it. Like I said... No, no, no problem. Okay. But what I'm trying to say to you, you see what I'm trying to say, yeah? yeah. I'm look, let's, let's, let's conclude because I don't want to go too long, right? I'm just saying, you've already opened After yourself... two hours, you get bored. Right, right. I've already opened yeah. your mind to the possibility yeah. of there being a prophet that's outside of Bani Israel, number one. Number two, is there any doubt that Muhammad came with Tawheed? What's Tawheed? The uh, monotheism. I don't explain the question, but... So, is there any doubt that the message of Islam is a monotheistic message? The God we worship is the God... One God. No, no doubt, no doubt. No doubt about that. Correct. Okay. Is there any doubt? To an extent, let me just pardon that. The Jews believe Muslims will be going to heaven. Most Jews believe it. Yeah, well, we'll you don't believe that. I know you don't believe the same bars. It's fine, I know that. Yeah, we don't. Uh, we believe that some, the original ones, the followers of uh, Moses, but well, we have a saying, which is not which is an authentic saying, which says that whoever hears about me from a Jew or a Christian, and doesn't accept me, they will go to the hellfire. Fine, never mind. I'm just I'm making a slight observation. Honest, right? I don't. But what I'm saying what is, saying, yeah. we believe that on the Christians on the other side. But I don't. I, don't think, I didn't even know you guys believed in heaven and hell. I thought you didn't believe in it. Oh, wait, the Christians. You don't have any explicit verses in the, uh, in the Old Testament about heaven or hell, do you? Don't know. I'm not sure. There is no heaven and hell. So we, we couldn't go to heaven. There's no heaven. We believe there is. And what it's based on is you've got a good question. I'm actually going to ask my rabbi. No, that's fine. No but I want. What I like now. Yeah, you should know about this as a central thing. If there's heaven, everyone wants to go there, right? Okay, look. A uh, quick question. If there was no heaven and hell, you wouldn't worship, you wouldn't work, you wouldn't worship God? No, we would worship Allah, because you know why? You would anyhow. We would. So, he so heaven and hell really doesn't make it's a difference. It's just an incentive. It's an incentive. It's an incentive. Realistically, we believe, the reason why, the, the, the utmost reason, the, the utmost reason why we believe in worshipping God, and remember this from me, yeah? Yeah. Is because Allah deserves to be worshipped. That's the reason. Right. Yeah, when we say La ilaha illallah, it means La ilaha. There is no God. There's no God worthy of worship except for God. So whether he, there was heaven or hell, or they didn't I, exist. I'm calling a spade a spade. It's much easier to live a life of worship. No, I accept, I accept that. That right? as well. And much that's easier. an incentive though. Because we're, we're, we're people. It makes life easier. Yeah, exactly. Right? So what I'm saying to you is this. Yeah. To, to end this discussion, I'm saying that already we've ticked two boxes of the, of the things that are the criteria of the Bible, the Old Testament. The third one now is prophecy. Now, if I were to show you exact specific prophecies from Prophet Muhammad. Yeah. No, what? Prophecies of what? Prophecies. Prophecies, things, events of the future that are going to happen. It doesn't happen. I'll tell you why. I have the, uh, the, 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 the Sabbath thing. That's my main, currently that's my main problem. So once, no problem. once you can, that's my main problem. Once you can explain. Well, what does it say that the Sabbath can never, uh, always has to be on this place and this time? We affirm it's command. We affirm that. that I was don't a know when we finish. I'll look up. No, no, no. What I'm saying is that we affirm it. The Quran. Yeah. We don't it keep it. My point is, we don't keep it because right. we say that. Look, God has a with, with certain commandments, yeah. right? Does even he? even you would agree. I will tell you this right now, right? Yeah. I will change your mind on the Sabbath right here and right now. All right? Even you would agree that yeah. some commandments can be broken. Like what? Wait a minute. What did you say? <laughs> Wait a minute. No, I'll tell you because. You know, when you look at the book of Exodus and chapter 20, verse 3, where it talks about the commandments, right? Mm -hmm. The most important one is what? The I am your God. Right? When we say the most important commandment, number one, we've already added a hierarchy within commandments. Yes or no? No. No, it, it, it's, it's necessary because if we say. It's not, and I disagree while I, I, I no, agree no. and disagree. No, no, it's a fundamental point. Is there a hierarchy, so to speak, and I don't, it's more rhetorical question, let me just get to my point. In Islam, is believing God most important? Yes, because if you don't believe in God, everything else isn't, what, you're not worshipping God. It's not a question of hierarchy, but common sense. No, no, but there is a hierarchy, right? I'll tell you why. No, no let me this is a common sense. No, 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 if you don't believe in God, how are you worshipping God? Let me explain God? what I mean by this, right? I, I agree with that point. But with that, you've admitted to, implicitly that there is a hierarchy within the commandments. No, there's a common sense reality. Let me tell you why there's a hierarchy, right? If we say the most important, yeah? yeah? So we're saying, number one, every, anything else has to be at least second place. No. Because we just list them in order of ten. It doesn't, doesn't say this is well, the okay. most important one. Okay, let's go through the commandments. So one of them, uh, to believe in God. One. It says one it starts with a noich Hashem. I am God. It doesn't oh, yeah. say... In the beginning, it doesn't worship in God, right? I'm, I mean, I'm not saying you exactly how it says it. Second commandment. Let's go for the commandment. You have to know the commandments, man. No, I don't. You must. No, this is very important. 
it's, one, it's, one's, ad, one's one, adultery, one's don't um, steal. I just, so all of those are keep. Right. One's keep let's, the uh, Let's start with stealing. Yeah. Can you break that commandment at any point in time? Can you break that commandment at any point in time? As in, define your question. Can I, no, here's my, here's limit. Does it mean, can I break the commandment for five seconds or can I break it from today and onwards? No, let me explain. There's two possibilities. Either the commandments, David, please, it's I'm important. My ears are here. You said your thing was the Sabbath, right? Yeah. I'm saying to you, I'm going to solve the Sabbath thing for you right now. I'm able to do it quickly, my legs are hurting. Okay, I apologize. But what I'm saying to you is this. If someone is starving and stealing, is their only option, otherwise they will die and their children will die. Okay. Can one steal? Now, yeah. let's say for instance, you're, as a woman, she has children, they're, they're going to die, she's going to die, there's some olives there in the marketplace, she takes a few of those olives and gives it to her, one each for her children and for herself to right. live. Can she do that? Yes. She can do that. Because it says later on, it says later on that, that, that there's three sins that cannot be broken, the three cardinal rules of the speak. That no matter what the circumstances, is, for life and death, everything can be broken besides three sins. Which are idol worship, adultery, and murder. We agree with those three things. So that's perfect, right? So you said that there's three... Look, yeah, but you haven't answered my there are three things. No, no, you've answered it yourself right yeah. now. No, I haven't. Yes, you have. But why is life, when is the life threatening to No, no, no. There's three things you just said. You've answered your own question. There are three things which can never be broken. I'm saying that there are seven other, by extension, which, which can which can be broken, right? So if you can if you can envisage a suspension of command of a commandment yeah. in any given uh, place yeah, and time, it says you can do that. No, no problem. I, I accept. It. But if you can envisage a suspension of a commandment in any particular given place and time, yeah. right? Because of the hierarchy of commandments that we talked about, then God should have the ability to abrogate some of the commandments. Correct. But like, does God have that ability? Yeah, it's his wow. Right, so of the of the like ten commandments, life. of the ten commandments, only one was abrogated. Yeah, so that yeah. was the yeah, Sabbath. But, but who who abrogated? It? God. No, no, through who? Who did he say? The last prophet. Yeah, but we believe that no prophet can do that. Well, we believe that God, God Why? made. Why does it say that? That if a God, if a prophet changes anything, I showed you that. No, first. no, the oracle. What? Yeah, yeah. if it changes the oracle. Yeah, yeah. what's the uh, uh, Hebrew word? Hebrew with the Lord that I did not command. Okay, perfect. No problem. Is you overuse the word perfect? You really don't know that. Very good. Excellent. Perfect. Splendid. Have prophets come after Moses yeah. and have laws been changed? No laws have been changed. So if I find you one example, you need to retract your statement. All I need is one example here of any law that Moses put into place which was either abrogated by Abraham, uh, sorry, not by Abraham, but by, uh, by any prophet that came after us, after Moses. And after that? What do you mean after Moses? Any prophet from, like I said, from Moses to the, um, uh, to the last prophet. Which was the last prophet? Slip my mind, let me help. Don't worry, I'll tell you the correct information of the answer. Slip my mind, bloody hell. Slip my mind. Who's the last one? Oh, what, what, are you you doing? Doing? what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you trick me out? Of this? <laughs> look, look. There, I can easily. No problem. If you, want, if you want me to find you an uh, instance of abrogation. If you can wait five minutes, I can go against the wall and rest my legs. That would be great. That's not a problem. Okay. My legs That's kill. So if I show you that, then the Sabbath thing is, uh, by extension, it's uh, sold for you. I will reconsider my statement. Perfect. Alright. Awesome. So, okay. Have a rest. Come back.
Fick jag den här? You do it. Like, oh, <laughs> double, you Leave us hanging. <laughs> we have double the height. Come back. After the break. <laughs> we'll be back. Yeah. What's your channel called? It's called Mohammed Hijab. What? Mohammed Hijab. Mohammed what? Content over everything. From Yabu Benali. Man say it straight. Man don't listen to BBC. Man don't listen to ITV. Free. Tell me when you're ready. Listen. I won't be long. Our people, Muslims, I'm talking about resurgent Islam in the Americas. From North America to the Caribbean, especially in Trinidad, and this is something people need to know, we have always been in the vanguard of political change. Today what's happening in black liberation movements, there's an attempt to make us irrelevant. Now there's, there are reasons for that.